Thanks to a historic turnaround, the Grand Rapids Griffins advance to the second round of the Calder Cup playoffs and meet the Rockford Ice Hogs in the Western Conference semifinals. A best of seven series that begins with games one and two in Grand Rapids on Wednesday and Friday. The remainder of the schedule comes at the end of this preview. The Griffins, who have now won six of seven playoff series during the three years Jeff Flashel has served as coach, had to come from behind in the opening round against Toronto, joining just 10 other teams in the near 80-year history of the AHL to erase a two games to none deficit in the best of five series. They did so by winning three straight at Van Andel Arena, where they are now 15-2-2 in their last 19 games. Rockford earned a trip to the semis after a three games to none sweep of the defending Calder Cup champion Texas Stars. Though they yielded an average of 37 shots in the three games, the Ice Hawks surrendered just five goals behind outstanding net mining from Michael Layton. More on him in a moment. The Griffins, one of just four teams in the 30-team AHL to reach 100 points in the regular season, face a Rockford team that was a single point shy of accomplishing the same. The Hawks posted the fifth best record in the league and accumulating a very impressive 99 points. The number two seed Griffins and four seed Ice Hogs played eight times head to head during the 2014-15 campaign, with each team earning nine of a possible 16 points. In other words, it was pretty much dead even, though the Griffins had a slight scoring edge in the eight games, 22 to 18. Historically speaking, these are teams on opposite ends of the playoff spectrum. While the Griffins have enjoyed tremendous success under Jeff Blaschel, competing in the postseason for the third straight season and claiming the AHL title in 2013, the Ice Hogs have missed out on Calder Cup competition in each of the last four years. What's interesting to note, however, is that the Hogs in recent years have been a team widely considered as one nobody wanted to play in the postseason. Say what? After qualifying for the playoffs in their fledgling years 2008 to 2010, the Ice Hogs failed to get into the dance four straight years because, for various reasons from one season to the next, they dug themselves deep holes during pre-Christmas play. How deep? Well, between the 2010-11 and 2012-13 seasons, Rockford had a cumulative record during second half play of 51-17-2-4, yet still fell just shy of qualifying. It's been a frustrating stretch for fourth-year head coach Ted Dent, who hopes to make up for lost time and guide this very talented group of Chicago Blackhawks prospects to uncharted territory. Giving them a chance to get there clearly is the aforementioned Michael Layton, the 34-year-old veteran returned from a season in Russia's KHL, rejoining the Blackhawks, the same organization that drafted him back in 1999. He is hoping to rekindle the flame that was so bright in 2010 when he got to the Philadelphia Flyers to the Stanley Cup Finals. And by the way, Leighton is third in the history of the American Hockey League in career shutouts with 41. Kudos to coach Ted Dent for proving the naysayers wrong during the couple of months leading up to the NHL's trade deadline. The Ice Hogs lost three dynamic players on their blue line, all via trades. T.J. Brennan to Toronto, Adam Clendenning to Vancouver, and Klaus Dahlbeck to Arizona. However, they have not missed a beat and did not hurt that they added some offensive firepower in the Brennan trade. Spencer Abbott came over from Toronto and was better than a point a game in 19 contests with Rockford down the stretch. Like Grand Rapids, the Ice Hogs were as solid on the road as they were at home, offering 24 wins inside the BMO Harris Bank Center and 22 on enemy ice. So for the first time in Griffin's history, they'll meet the Rockford Ice Hogs in postseason play. The series again begins in Grand Rapids on Wednesday and Friday, May 6th and the 8th at 7 o'clock. And then the series shifts to Rockford, Illinois for games three and four on Wednesday and Thursday, May 13th and 14th. Those are eight o'clock Eastern start times. Game five, if necessary, also at the BMO Harris Bank Center, otherwise known as the Big Orange Box in Rockford on Sunday, May 17th. That's a 5 p.m. start Eastern time. If the series goes to a sixth and the seventh game, it comes back to West Michigan at Van Andel Arena on Tuesday, May 19th and on Wednesday, May 20th for Game 7. We invite you to listen to all games, home and away, on Wood Radio, both on the AM and the FM dial, and also encourage you to follow us through other social media means at the Griffins website at griffinshockey.com and follow within the games, if you don't listen, on Twitter at Griffins Game Day. Enjoy the series. Should be a dandy. Griffins and Rockford Ice Hawks, best of seven Western Conference semifinals.